Hey guys, this is the Cobb 8 here again, and today I'm going to show you guys a little preview and uh, or slash demo of Internet Explorer 8 Release Candidate 1. So let's get right on in there. Uh, there we go. Uh, anyway, ignore this box. Right now, it's not my current browser. I'll explain that towards the end of the video why it's not. But uh, as you can see, it's same layout as in X Four Seven. Nothing, nothing special there. There was nothing special. Now there is really nothing special. You've got your uh, regular, you know, if you really want that, you can have the menu bar, favorites bar, all, all that good stuff. But oops, hold up a second. This is how it look uh, if you didn't have anything. If you just downloaded it for the first time, default look here. I use the favorites bar a lot. That's why I have it. But uh, again, nothing new with the, you got your, you know usual buttons in your home, you know, your back buttons, print button, you can, oh, by the way, all this can be customized too, as you can see, I think it's, uh, you get, uh, two bars, customize if you wanted to, most people don't give a damn, but I like to customize, I just haven't done it yet, but, uh, what else we got here, um, features, uh, that's probably what you want to know is about features, uh, a couple new features, something to make a uh, nice note of, uh, something that uh, Safari already does, Microsoft uh, and Explorer just decided to do in private browsing. Uh, let me show you that here. Uh, ignore that. But uh, you click that and it opens up a totally new window, which I just maximized. But um, as you can see here, it basically doesn't record what you do or where you've been or what you, you know, things like that. And this is useful if you don't want people knowing where you want to go or where you've been. I have, uh, I really haven't used this that much at all, <laughs> because, well, this is my personal computer, nobody uses it except me, so I don't care what, you know, it doesn't matter to me, but this can be useful for some people, and nothing's different, oh, actually, yeah, nothing's different really, it just doesn't record what you do, X that out, and, uh, something new to, with the tabs I like, I'll show you something here, I'm gonna open up a bunch of blank tabs real quick. Alright, um, you see this little button right here, quick tabs, click that, and using that you can see what tabs you have open currently at the moment. Right now, Yahoo, I think, uh, one thing I don't like about it, I wish you could move these around, that'd be awesome, uh, oop. but uh, no, you can't, and if you notice here, the more tabs I have open, there's a little slowdown, but uh, that's bound to happen, and you you can either cl you can click on any tab you want. You can just, or you can just exit them out from the screen here. Ooh, I'm having a little slowdown too. That's kind of unusual. I'm gonna exit out all the tabs here because I am slowing down. But uh, you can just click on it. Boom! It'll go back to your regular tab. And that's useful if you have several tabs open, like I just did. You're gonna get a slowdown, of course. That's bound to happen. I'm not shocked by that at all. <laughs> and. Uh, what else is new to make a note of? Um, oh, this is kind of neat here too. Let me uh, go to a random page. I haven't, been, I haven't been to Microsoft in a kind of a long time. Show you something here. So you wanted to add this feature? If, oh, ooh, don't know what that is. No, I don't. Um, <laughs> and say if you want to add this to your favorites, click it here and. Boom! Two seconds. You know, you don't have you know how the stupid box pops up. You know, it's very easy to add a favorite. You can also move it around too. You can have it here or anywhere else. I don't like Microsoft, so I'm gonna definitely delete that favorite. <laughs> that was just an example. Uh, something here: suggested sites. Um, this is the web splicing thing, I think. Yeah. And you click suggest. It'll, this thing here will suggest sites to you that they think you ought to be using to the related site you're on. Which I'm gonna turn that on for the moment. Yes. Click it, and you should get some related sites. See here you go. Related. <laughs> That's unusual. <laughs> Top five websites are similar to Microsoft Corporation. Fourth one, Apple. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that's unusual. And you got your other suggestions. Let me see here. That is funny. I cannot believe it uh, suggested Apple. 
That's uh, pretty funny there. That was something I wasn't expecting, as you can probably hear. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. And, well, there's probably a couple others I'm missing, but you could go. Ah, here we go. Uh, if you really want to see all the new features in depth, you click the little question mark and go to what's new. And that's kind of slow because I'm in a dorm right now. But this website here will show you what's new in this version. There's several things. You know, the web splices that relate to the suggested sites. And, you know, flat, you know, major changes that have been made, you know, internally are, you know, more secure. You know, it's probably going to be, it's going to be easier to update. Uh, more stable, they say. Uh, I haven't seen a difference really in stability. I've had, you know, crashes, which is bound to happen from any you know, explorer that's a given and we've got accelerators things like that but uh, uh stability issues uh well uh, a couple of websites ha aren't compatible yet i've run into i had trouble with yahoo mail for a while i had to get around that uh gmail you know google mail was giving me a problem uh sites with you know in flash intense videos were running real slow i've even some videos wouldn't even flat out load. I ran into one website that wouldn't even open up. Uh, but uh, that's bound to happen. This is a new version of X4. Let me show you guys here. I think it's. Uh, yeah. As I said, release candidate one, which is kind of close to release, but not final yet. This will probably have this or may maybe two. I doubt it though, but after this, it should be the final version. And something else funny too with the stability, or that's just kind of weird. Say, I have one Internet Explorer open, the window open, right? You have one task running, and you have another one here. Now, that, that kind of confuses me. Most people aren't going to give a damn, but to a person like me who kind of is a computer junkie, this kind of makes no sense. And what's even, and what's kind of, look, 40K and 73K. If you exit out one, you exit out all of them. It sucks. I don't know what that's about, but I'm not questioning. But uh, to wrap up here, um, to use, well, I don't use it as my default yet because it's still a release candidate, but I have Firefox. I'm perfectly fine with that. But to me, it is just not ready yet for you know full use, everyday use. The only thing I use it for, I have to use it for, you know, Microsoft updates. There's no work around, the work away around that. Uh, but in my opinion, which is probably nothing special, is that, uh, like I said, it's not, it's not, you know, ready for a final release. They've got a bug or two to fix. You know, the, like I got things that uh, when I open up the task manager, a uh, couple of freeze problems. There's the uh, compatibility to me is an issue. If I can't load up mail, then why am I using this browser? But uh, like I guess the Microsoft has made a couple of steps. You know, they're still trying to they're trying to get back into the game with uh, Firefox and uh, Opera and a couple others, maybe even Safari. But that's another that's another discussion. But uh, overall, I get out of ten, I'd probably give it a, a seven out of ten. Just it loses points just because it's by Microsoft, but. Uh, like I said, 7 out of 10 for, you know, the goods are the new features. Uh, you've got private browsing, uh, security, and you've got your, you know, stability issues, which is a bad feature, and a couple other things. But, uh, yeah, this has been kind of a quick review. Not quick, since it's 9 minutes. But, uh, it's been a quick review in the export. Hey, if you if, uh, you've got any questions, just send me a message or leave a comment or, you know, if you've got something to say, email me or whatever. I should respond. But, uh... Yeah, I hope you guys uh, got some info out of this video, and I'll catch you guys later. Uh, have a good day.